Without objection. Uh, I think my colleagues and the American people should know exactly what's happened and what's happening now and what may happen unless uh, we show a steadfast and robust response to the act of aggression which has just taken place as uh, Colonel Putin has moved and aggressively using the force of arms invaded a country and absorbed a part of that country into uh, Russia. A blatant act of aggression uh, sparked by the age-old uh, practice of demonstrations and desire for intervention to protect Russian-speaking people has uh, just been enacted by Vladimir Putin. And Vladimir Putin's forces, I would say to my friend from South Carolina, as he knows, Vladimir Putin's forces are on the border of eastern Ukraine right now. And they are poised to invade. They even have forces in, in Belarus. And Vladimir Putin is figuring out the cost-benefit ratio to moving into eastern Ukraine, the cost-benefit ratio of Moldova, which is not a member of NATO, of inciting the Russians that are there. There's 1,400 Russian troops stationed in Transnistria. He's figuring out the cost-benefit ratio of inciting violence in the Russian-speaking population of the Baltic countries, especially Estonia. Vladimir Putin is on the move. And a fundamental and naive attitude towards Vladimir Putin by this president and this administration, I hope, is shattered for all time. Vladimir Putin is a KGB colonel who said that the greatest mistake of the 20th century was the breakup of the Soviet Union. He is intent on restoring the Russian Empire. That's what Vladimir Putin is all about. And what's been our response? Fascinating, the President of the United States and his press conference yesterday basically said, so what I announced and what the European Council announced was that we were consulting and putting in place the framework, the architecture for additional sanctions, additional costs, should Russia take the next step. I eat, how does Vladimir Putin read that statement by the President of the United States? He reads it by saying, we got away with it. We got Crimea back, which both the senator from South Carolina and I predicted that he would not give up Sevastopol and he would invade if he felt it's necessary to do so.